the global stage. Did you know that if you were the only person on earth, Jesus would have still come to die for you? When you suspect somebody of alcohol intoxication, Putin chose this war, and now he and his country will bear the consequences. But have you ever wondered how long it took Adam to sin against God from the day he was created? Or take from you to give to another person such that we can remove his heart and replace it with that of the, uh, of the animal. Love does not demand its own way, mm -hmm. my goodness. Welcome to the global stage. Hello, welcome to the global stage. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We are still continuing with our discussion, transhumanism, the ultimate destructive tool of eugenics. And as usual, I'm not alone. I have here with me my brother, Abiru. Welcome, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. It's always a, a pleasure to be in a show like this where as we always think we are explaining things, mm -hmm. but the more we explain to them, the more we also we learn. We also learn. That's yes. wonderful. That's wonderful. You know, transhumanism is close-ups today's agenda, and it's a very dangerous one. Mm -hmm. But you believe that you are a free spirited person who has, mm -hmm. who is capable of making your own information, mm -hmm. yes. and that's you will you have the right to decide what you want to do now i want you to listen to our friend again dr noah and what he thinks of you and what he plans to do with you let's watch this video we'll be right back okay so whatever i choose whether in the election or whether in the supermarket this is my free will that's over free will that's over that's over took over, especially surveillance under the skin, which I think is maybe the most important development of the 21st century, is this ability to hack human beings, to go under the skin, collect biometric data, analyze it, and understand people better than they understand themselves. This, I believe, is maybe the most important event of the 21st century. Politicians undermining deliberately the trust that people have in important institutions like universities, like respectable media outlets. These populist politicians told people that, say, scientists are this small elite disconnected from the real people. I mean, all this story about Jesus rising from the dead and being the son of God, this is fake news. Humans. It's with the gentleman we just saw, Max Moore, who uh, he is without a doubt, one of the core thinkers in the transhumanist movement. Uh, many regard his definition of transhumanism as being, a, a, in many ways, essential uh, to understanding it. He wrote a, an essay in 1991 called In Praise of the Devil, in which he holds up Lucifer as a representation of human reason, of human uh, intelligence, and human critical thinking. And he, in many ways, is, he's speaking of this in, a, in symbolic terms, but he is completely trashing the notion of God, of uh, any sort of supernatural realm that exists beyond this physical realm, and is using Lucifer, much like Anton LaVey before him, using Lucifer as this symbol for human aspiration, and I would say human arrogance. Uh, the other one is uh, the metaverse is already a cesspool of perversion. It's just a, a, a mm. very quick argument that you will not be able to replicate the good in virtual reality. Virtual, whatever sort of wickedness or, or, or you know depravity is cultivated there will certainly remain in the soul and move on out into the physical world as people absorb it. But I have a lot of doubt as to whether or not people will be able to train to be good in virtual reality. I think by and large, anything good you do in virtual reality will basically yes. remain there. That may sound pessimistic, but you know. All right, so welcome back. Now, what do you think of the video you just watched? Yeah, the, you know, um, <laughs> he, he 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 spoke he spoke concerning free will. He said free will, yeah. that is over. That's over. That's <laughs> over. With bold, with boldness and with yeah. confidence as well. But I wonder <laughs> what he's using to say that, mm -hmm. because the same free will he's using to say that mm -hmm. is what he's trying to rule out. Rule out exactly. Because exactly. if God had not given him that free will, he wouldn't be able, able. to even make a decision. decision. To tell us that that, that, that free will is over. Free will is over. over. So, 
that in other words, the world they are planning for you, mm. they are planning for you and planning for us, as they say, it's a world where you don't have free will. That is what we talk about digital dictatorship. Yes. So no you're free, free will, will, no free will. No privacy. No privacy as well. Yes. Because he said that they'll be going under your skin. If they're going under your skin, that means they are going to see what is going through your mind. Yeah. So that means privacy is ruled out. A thing of the past. Your right to privacy is a thing of the past. Yeah. And that is the world they are trying to create for you. If you think transhumanism is, 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 a, is a beautiful thing. And then also talked about the Max Moore guy. Mm. You know, Max Moore was the... Like I said, is the is the is today's father, modern day uh, transhumanist mm. or father of transhumanism, mm. and then another he said that transhumanism is actually satanism with a brain chip. Mm. You you saw that statement, yeah. and trans and Max Moore really understands transhumanism because he talks about the genetic editing mm. of that, and it is really interesting that many people do not really understand transhumanism. They think transhumanism, like I said, is just when somebody has has lost his limb mm. and they put a yeah, prosthetic put limb, so that is transhumanism. And that is not true. Transhumanism actually talked about going under your skin, going to see what is going through your mind, mm. doing a genetic editing. And as we go on, the father or the founder of WEF, that is uh, uh, Klosho, will really tell us what he means by transhumanism. Mm. Now let's go to the second part of the video where Dr. Noah also... Now, let's first of all look at Close up what what it says concerning globalization and then transhumanism. Let's watch it. We'll be right back. It never has been more important than now, where we have to face the consequences of the pandemic of COVID. 19 for creating a more resilient, a more sustainable and a more inclusive world. You are calling for the international community to safeguard vaccine equity, to respond to COVID-19 and prevent future health crises. Nobody will be safe if not everybody is vaccinated. Young people, you are rallying behind the global wealth tax to manage the alarming surge in wealth inequality. You are calling for programs that help you and young progressive voices join government and become policy makers. To limit global warming, you are demanding to halt to coal, oil and gas exploration. You are asking firms to replace any corporate board directors who is unwilling to transition to cleaner energy sources. You are championing an open internet and a two trillion digital access plan to bring the world online and prevent internet shutdown. And you are presenting new ways to minimize the spread of misinformation and you want to combat dangerous extremist views in the internet. On state issues on our agenda, we tend to forget that we are in the midst of the fourth industrial revolution, which accelerates global change in much more comprehensive and faster ways than the previous three revolutions. And you see, the difference of this first uh, industrial revolution is it doesn't change what you are doing. It changes you. If you take a genetic editing, right. uh, it doesn't change what you are doing. It changes you. If you take a genetic editing, right. uh, just as an example, it's you who exactly. are changed. Yeah. And of yeah. course, this has a big impact yeah. on your identity. Yeah. And offer certain kinds of possibilities that have to be careful about. You know, yeah. when you began to... When you began to do that kind of gene editing, some people worry that you are changing what it means to be human. That's the problem. I, yeah. uh, I, it, uh, of course, the new uh, industrial revolution offers us many opportunities, but it raises many fold questions on the ethical, but even legal uh, implications. And we have to be prepared for it. And that's what we want to do in Davos next year. All right, so welcome back. And then he asks, and the presenter asks him, so when, when you take this gene therapy or just editing, will, will you still remain human? He couldn't answer. He quickly deviated from that question. He wouldn't like to answer that because he made it so clear from the beginning mm -hmm. because he said a gene edit. Mm -hmm. 
And if your genes are edited, that means they are not in their original o state. Original state, exactly. So if they are not in their original state, and your genes is what carries the information concerning you. You, as a person. As a person. So when your gene, your DNAs are edited, then you are not the same person. You are not the same person. You are You're not, not the, the same, same human person. being. What's... What is the meaning of gene editing? Mm -hmm. What is the DNA? Because mm -hmm. you talk about DNA and other things. Now, I want to define for you what uh, gene editing is. Now, gene editing simply means a scientific and technological approach by scientists to change an organism's DNA. So this, will, this allows genetic material to be added, removed, or altered at a particular genome. Mm. Now, it is the ability to make highly specific changes in the DNA sequence of a living organism, essentially customizing its genetic makeup. So that is the meaning of gene editing or genome editing. Now, what is a gene? I define a gene or a DNA. First of all, let me define a DNA for you. A DNA simply means a molecule that contains your genetic code. Mm. So whatever you are, it is because of your DNA. Mm -hmm. So it, it contains that genetic code and it hosts the information of instruction for development and function as a reproduction, and this is passed down from parent to their distraction uh, to their children. Their so children. the DNA contains your genetic code, your identity. And it says a gene is based is basically the basic physical and functional unit of hereditary for protein synthesis. It contains all the information needed for an organism to develop and function. And so we look at gene editing. What they are saying is that they are, if they are going to change your DNA, DNA, they are going to change your identity. And the DNA is what contains your personal uniqueness. Mm -hmm. What makes you unique, unique. as you? You. It's, it's your it's, DNA. It's your DNA. Exactly. And if and if they are going to change it, that means you are, you are going to be totally different from what you used yeah. to be, how God made you. Mm -hmm. Now, he also talked about globalization, and this is where we we, need to, we really need people to mm -hmm. be very careful about. You know, in a part one of our discussion, you you made a you made mention of a word colonization. Mm -hmm. You know, slavery and colonization has a negative connotation because yeah. of the way it's been. Yeah. And you know, these people are very smart. And so in modern day, because of the negative connotation attached to colonization or slavery, they came up with a, a better word, that is globalization. And so globalization is actually a euphemism for colonization. Mm. It's just a play of words. Yes. And so when, when these people talk about globalization, do not think as, as a global village. Mm -hmm. The way, the way, the way another man, they are actually talking about slavery in modern day sense. That, that is, that, that's what they mean by globalization. Do you have anything you want to add? Yeah, even if it is a global village as you may think, it is going to be a global village with that wicked king. Mm -hmm. Someone is going to be, be ruling you wickedly. Mm -hmm. You are going to be under someone's control. Mm -hmm. Out the, and that person is not going... It is not going. The person is not going to be like a king mm -hmm. over you. Mm -hmm. That will be seeking for your good. That will be seeking for your development or anything. Why they want to bring everything together is because of the control. The control of man. The control of man. Control of man. What so, they're seeking to do. So in, remember in the part when we said that in the days of the Bible, it was fallen angels yes. and the humans mating through sexual intercourse yes. to produce this corrupt race. Now in our day, it's going to be human persons and chips merging together to produce what we call human cyborg or, yeah. or humanoid. humanoid. So the person will look like a human being or have everything like a human being, but inwardly he's, he's not a human person. And that is the adulteration or the corruption of the human person. Now, there's something I wrote down which I, I like to say. You mm -hmm. see, the agenda of transhumanism is rooted in what we call a morbid pathological desire of psychopaths. These people are actually psychopaths. Yes. If, 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 if I'm not carrying my words, who have a peculiar satanic hatred for democracy yeah. because, you know, God allows free will and free will is basically democracy. You talk, I talk. But these people have, these people want to replace it with technocracy and that, that is actually dictatorship. Mm. And so, and that is what the devil wants because the devil is always against what God wants. God wants democracy, free will. The devil wants the opposite. God even wants more than democracy. God wants love. Mm -hmm. Democracy sometimes even play against love. Exactly. Very true. Very true. And one thing we, we need to be very careful about 
is that they are trying to create a totalitarian society mm. where, like you said, there's only one person. Yeah. And the one person or a few people who control the, the, the masses. Mm. So the one who owns the data controls yeah. everything. That is very interesting. Now, I want to give, you know, in the pattern we said we want to give to you the definition of a godly seed. Who is a godly seed? Now, so in the first part of the video, we made mention of a godly God seed. In, that is in Malachi. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to define for you what a godly seed. Now, in the eye and the mind of God, there are two people or two persons categorized as godly seed. Now, we said the godly seed was Jesus Christ. That is the main godly seed which was come to save the world. We said I wanted to corrupt that so yeah. that he wouldn't come. Now, apart from God, among humans, there are two categories of people. Number one is the children of the flesh mm -hmm. are called godly seed. And the children of, the, of God, that is us Christians. Mm. Now, the godly seed simply means one who can be redeemed. Yeah. So the ungodly seed is one who cannot be redeemed. Mm. And so the whole idea of Satan inspiring this ideology of transhumanism is to produce an ungodly seed. One that is not fit to be saved. Mm. And that is why the Bible says that anyone who takes the mark of a beast it's cannot be saved. It's irredeemable. You cannot save the person. And so that is the whole idea behind the corruption from Genesis. Why the fallen angels had to come and sleep with men. It was to produce an ungodly seed mm -hmm. so that the Christ, the Messiah, will not come. Now, because he knows that Christ has come and has come to save us. Now, he wants to, he has now tricked it down to the human persons mm -hmm. to, put, to corrupt the human person. So that if you are not an ungodly seed, you cannot be saved. Because yes. once, once you are not your, in your original form or nature, you can't be redeemed. Yes. Number two. You can't even think good thoughts. Yes. You you think thoughts against God and against anything that is God, because these people want to create a, what we call a hedonistic society where there's no God and where they will place themselves as God of the society. So that is the main agenda of transhumanism, which is actually the destructive tool of eugenics in our day. Any any last word? Uh, 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 one thing we need to also remember is that. When we talk, we are not just talking about religion. Um, we are not just talking about religion. We are talking about life. We are talking about the existence of man. Mm -hmm. We are talking about the whole thing that God created. Being with God or this sense of God or about God is more than a religion. This, it is just about life. It is just about how things should be. This is not religion. And this, what those people are doing is not science either. Mm -hmm. It is not science. It has nothing to do with science. It is all an uh, agenda seeking to destroy humanity. Seeking to destroy the whole existence of man. As we rightly said, all they are seeking is to... Produce an ungodly seed. Produce an ungodly seed. And even in our days, they are seeking to produce an ungodly seed. And secondly, their biggest agenda to, is to, to stop delay or the, stop the coming of Christ. Coming of Christ. <laughs> okay, that's very interesting for you. Very powerful one. Because when the human race is corrupted, for what reason will Christ, Christ come? come? So if they succeed in editing everybody's genes then that means everybody has changed. Mm -hmm. They are not in their original state. Mm -hmm. If God was having a code for each and every person, if God is going to trace that code, he won't get he anyone. Won't get anyone. So God is not coming for anyone. Very that true. is what they are trying to do. Very to very buy time mm -hmm. and to destroy, destroy everything. everything. That's wonderful. And you know this uh, agenda of depopulation. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing we need to understand is that, you know, these things are linked together. Yes depopulation agenda you know if you want to control a people mm. the lesser the number the better you the can better, control yes. them and so you you said that they are against leaving the family structure mm. of reproduction yes. and so if they can have fewer members mm -hmm. then they can actually control them as well and this is very interesting now we want to finally end with a video a short video on dr new again where he yes. talks about immortality yes so quickly watch this video, I'll be right back. The industrial revolution of the 19th century, what humanity basically learned to produce was all kinds of stuff like textiles and shoes and weapons and, and vehicles. 
And this was enough for very few countries that underwent the revolution fast enough to subjugate everybody else. What we're talking about now is like a second industrial revolution, but the product this time will not be textiles or machines or vehicles or even weapons. The product this time will be humans themselves. We are basically learning to produce bodies and minds. Bodies and minds are going to be, the, I think, the two main products of the next wave Pause. of all these, all these uh, uh, changes. And if there is a gap between those that know to produce bodies and minds and those that do not, then this is far greater than anything we saw before in, in history. And this time, if you're not part of the revolution fast enough, then you probably become, become extinct. Once you know how to produce bodies and brains and minds, so cheap labor in Africa or South Asia or wherever, it, it simply counts for nothing. And again, I think that the biggest question in, in maybe in economics and politics of the coming decades mm -hmm. will be what to do with all these useless people. I don't think we have an economic model to, for that. My best guess, which is just a guess, is that uh, food will not be a problem. Uh, with that kind of technology, you will be able to produce food for, to feed everybody. The problem is more uh, boredom and how, what to do with them, and how will they find some sense of meaning in life when they are basically meaningless, worthless. My best guess at present is a combination of drugs and computer games. ...and divinity, we're all trying to be superhumans. Is, is that actually happening? Yes, in places like Silicon Valley, uh, equality is out, but immortality is in. Everybody is talking about immortality. Uh, Google has just established two or three years ago a sub-company called Calico, whose stated aim is to solve the problem of death. We've solved search, now we'll solve death. And they are not the only ones. And basically they are saying death is not some metaphysical phenomenon. We don't have to wait for the second coming of Christ in order to solve it. Uh, a couple of geeks in the laboratory can do it. Are they doing it? Yeah, they are investing billions in that. Uh, not only them, but all over the world, basically there are three ways. You can use biological engineering to change the, the, the human body, to speed up natural selection. You can use cyborg engineering, which is combining organic with inorganic parts. And you can create completely inorganic life forms. It will be the, not only the greatest revolution in history, it will be the greatest revolution in biology ever. Will we still be human? Not in the sense that we understand humanity today. We are probably one of the last generations of Homo sapiens. In a century or two, uh, either we will destroy ourselves, which I think is less likely, more likely we'll upgrade ourselves into something which is more different from us than we are different from Neanderthals or from chimpanzees. So what's the danger? You say that we could end up merging with computers and we could almost become useless. Humans could be useless. Well, one danger is that, especially as artificial intelligence develops, and it develops at a tremendous pace, within our lifetime, billions of humans will be pushed out of the job market because AI, artificial intelligence, will be better in driving cars, diagnosing disease, even writing articles. And then just as the Industrial Revolution in the 19th century created the, work, the urban working class, so in the 21st century will create the useless class. Billions of people who are not just unemployed, but unemployable. And this is a kind of political and social problem that we have never encountered before. So even... Humanity. So in the next stage of history, authority will shift back from humans to the clouds, not to the gods, but to the Microsoft cloud, to the Google cloud. They'll just understand us so well that it will be crazy not to listen to their advice about what book to read, whom to marry, where to work, and what to vote in the elections. And the other key question is who owns... All right, welcome back. Now, that is a very interesting video. Now, it's talk, talking about immortality and the product of the economy and who, who is useless and who is useful. Yeah. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched. And the video, 
as um, the previous videos we discussed about, mm -hmm. we said it clearly that these people are not talking about shine. Mm -hmm. They have an agenda, and it's a satanic agenda. agenda. You can imagine these people, if they are saying they are talking about science, then how come he's talking about divinity here? Divinity here. And even in a video, he said that Jesus Christ being the Son of God is even fake news. It's fake news. And here, he's talking about divinity. divinity. They are acquiring divine, divine powers. powers. Yes. And then he's saying that... Both now, to create and to, to, destroy. to destroy. And then they are now creating immortality. He said now Google, IBM is spending yes. billions of dollars. Yes. In, in in wanting to bring a hack in what so we don't have to wait for the second moment of Jesus second Christ. coming of Jesus Christ. I think he didn't believe in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Now he's talking about we are not so we are not going to wait for Jesus Christ to return before we can we can enjoy can be realized into it, function. It, but uh, we can actually activate activity even right before now. Christ comes. And this thing will clearly tell you that these people they are just on an agenda. Yeah, because there, there, there's a contradiction somewhere. Yes. He said that he doesn't believe in the Son of God. Yes. Jesus being a Son of God is fake news. He's fake news. Now he's saying that we don't have to wait for Jesus Christ to come yes. before we can realize immortality. So in other words, he's actually acknowledging that Jesus Christ will come. Will come. And that he's the Son of God. And if that's even good news. Right? That's even good news. He's, he's, he's preaching the gospel in As, the way. Exactly, exactly, he exactly. He's confirming he's, that Jesus Christ will come. Will come. So we don't have to wait till, wait till we, we enjoy immortality. But what we need to also uh, understand is that what man can do may also be fake mm -hmm. or trying to do the exact. exact. If Jesus Christ is coming with an immortal, uh, immortal life, mm -hmm. coming to give us a life of immortality, mm -hmm. and these people are telling us that they can actually uh, come up with... Uh, um, Immortality. Mm -hmm. What we need to understand is that a man is not perfect mm -hmm. to give us immortality. immortality yeah. Because a man didn't plan about life. Exactly. Man is not exactly. uh, the person who originated life. life. So they can't give you immortality. They can't give you immortality. You, 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 you need to go to the source of life. Yes, you need to go to the source of life. These people are even people who are still telling us that you have to take injection to injection. be well. well. You have to take uh, 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 drugs to be well. well. They are talking about uh, vaccination, mm -hmm. and you are talking about immort immortality. immortality. <laughs> this thing, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't that's an And then he may he said that those in Africa mm -hmm. and Southern Asia, Asia will be useless because he classified these people in that place as useless people mm. because we are not so much advanced like the West, and so the world that they are creating for the whole society. If we are if we, if we are not able to produce body, bodies and minds, then and we are not able to agree with what they want to do, they mm. become useless. Yes, we can be employed. He uh, actually said they are unemployed. Un 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 that means it, it is impossible to em em uh, employ yes. them and they become because useless. You, you cause those in Africa and Southern Asia as useless. Useless, and okay. that it is not so. Uh, uh, that's, that's actually interesting. That's we, actually interesting. we actually disagree with him because their narratives will not even come to play. Very, very, very interesting. And very then interesting. one of the most important things that we we also need to make it clear is Africa is the new discovery exactly. for the, the whole discovery. world. And, and, and they're actually targeting Africa. They are at, all what they are doing is actually Africa. Is Africa. So <laughs> that is not really true. Uh, very interesting. That's very not interesting. really true. Very interesting. Very interesting. Now, we would like to end here. There's so much to discuss concerning this subject. So I want you to do your own personal study of this subject. Go to the Bible. Go to do research on your own to find out what you're talking about because this is just the tip of the iceberg. So you, you need to understand that we are not of this world. You belong to the, you belong to Christ. And let this be clear to you. And let this because our passion is the salvation of souls. Yes. So everything we are sharing with you, at the end of the day, we are looking at the salvation of a man's soul. So the things we are saying, what we are talking about, what we are actually looking at is the end of that man, not just here. Yes. Where is that person heading towards? So our passion and our desire is the salvation of souls because that's what Christ has sent. And that's why we come and share this message with you concerning transhumanism. So I want you to do your own personal study on this particular subject. And think about and be very careful about the kind of labels and society you mm -hmm. join yourself. These things may look like science, uh, innovations, but they are not for good at the end of the day. What you need to look at is who is inspiring certain ideas in their heads or in your head, and what is the implication of it at the end of the day. That is what is most important in life, not just the beginning, but the end of the things. 
Your last friend, one of them. Uh, thank you very much. It's very important to note that technology is very key in our day to day. A technology is not the foundation of our lives. Mm -hmm. uh, science is very key, but science is not the foundation of our life. Science existed because of life. Mm -hmm. Life is not existing because of life is not existing because of uh, science. It's rather science that is existing because of life. life. Technology is existing because of life, not uh, life existing because of technology. So when things like this comes up, we need to understand what, what are they driving at? What is their point? And you know, most importantly, if you don't know, if you don't know and listen carefully, you will be deceived. All what these people are trying to do is all deception. As I, I, we said in the beginning, a man is not to be upgraded. You don't upgrade man, you discover, discover man. Discover man. Man was made in his full and totality. Everything man needed is inside him. You discover to bring that thing out. It is not now you are going to upgrade man. Man is in his fullness, his totality. This reminds me of a scripture that says, whatever God makes is perfect. It's perfect. No upgrading. So it, this is not when to upgrade man. This is not when to advance man. So there are times that we need, to, we need to carefully study what is coming on our way. And the reason why I'm saying this is that they're saying that they are going to upgrade man. It's deception. They are, uh, they are Acquiring divine powers and of creation and destruction. Creation and destruction. Man was created in the image and likeness of God. Man is divine with, especially when you become born again, you are divine with God. So this is not the time you are now acquiring. Yes. This is totally deception. You, you you only need to discover. You only need to discover. When you come into Christ, you discover who you are in God. And then you also said something like. They are upgrading men into gods. Into gods. But man was created in the image and the likeness of God. For the Bible says, "Ye are gods." You yes. are gods. <laughs> That's an interesting one. The, the Bible says, "You are gods." Jesus Christ Himself confirmed that also when He came. He said, "The scriptures." He said, "The scriptures said you are, are gods. gods." So why do you want to still become God? That God. when 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 when, when, when you already, already God, a God. You see. It, it, as we said, Satan is using the same tricks. The same tricks. Because this is what he, he used in Genesis with Adam and Eve. It's the same thing he used when he met Jesus Christ. And it's the same thing he's using today. So we are not trying to upgrade ourselves. The best thing we can do is to discover ourselves. And how do you discover yourself? First of all, no man can discover himself until he's in the class of God. God. And how do you how do you go into the class of God? By receiving Jesus so Christ, Christ as your Lord and Savior. That is when your eyes open to then discover yourself. So you this really tells us that Christianity is far beyond religion. It's far beyond religion. You know, people, people really don't understand Christianity. Yes. You know, it's an interesting it's far beyond religion. 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 It's science. What science can even talk? Yes. It's a life. It's a life. It's a it's a life to be lived. It's a life to be lived. Oh, wonderful. So wonderful. when we come there, that is when you'll be able to discover. So that you will be away, we'll be free from all the mm -hmm. deception. And then lastly, you know, if you study the way Satan works, mm. you know. Remember what we call gradualism? Yes. Hollywood and media. Mm. You know, with the movies you watch, yes. like the Superman, mm -hmm. the Spider-Man, mm -hmm. you know, this mm -hmm. in this Avengers movie, mm -hmm. you know, in a way prepares the people's mind to assess some of these things. Yes. Because yes, you've been wanting to for assuming that somebody can be upgraded to have powers like mm. Superman. Superman. Can lift things, can fly, you can just do. fly. So people 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 are easily deceived by a certain chance money because they think you'll be upgrading to that particular thing. And so because you've been bombarded years and years with some of the movies you watch in Hollywood, it prepares you to accept these things easily. The truth of the matter is that that is just an aspect of the human spirit. Just, that is just their imagination. You see, 
they coming up with those videos and those things are telling they are just telling you this is what we can imagine mm-hmm. but deep in human spirit is bigger than what they are even what they are think, thinking about thinking about a man can live far better than even superman superman because superman, superman is just somebody's imagination exactly computer is just uh, somebody's mm-hmm. imagination if your spirit can bring that out there is so much more still in your spirit that you can do we can achieve man is bigger than what we are we are talking about that's an interesting one all right so we like to we like to end our, our our discussion here and we love you so much and keep doing what you are doing the more if you learn something you invite someone to also participate and also get something so you can share some of the videos you can invite people if you are really learning something and I, which i believe you do to also come and learn and then also click the notification bell so that any time we put something new you have the opportunity to be reminded to go and have a look at it thank you very much for your comments for your contribution for all that you are doing we are really proud of you thank you very much our end with this our passion is the salvation of souls and no matter who you are and where you are you belong to God and everybody is valuable to God and God seeks to save everybody and that is why we bring you this subject God bless you see you another time bye bye the global stage Welcome to the Global Stage.